Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? <clears throat> it's the Watchman Inc. podcast, and here we are. It's a little bit something different today, and the reason I wanted to do something different is because I feel like I need to do a yearly reflection. We're coming up on, you know, it's not quite been a year since we've started the podcast, but it's over a year since, you know, I've started this you know, what I would call a ministry, you know, if it would be unconventional to your average person because of the way I do things. But um, as I sit here and, you know, just reflect on what this past year has been, you know, in the sense of the amount that God has opened up is, is honestly amazing. And so, um, you know, my host isn't with me in this one because, me and him are in, in the process of also refining the podcast and trying to figure out where our niche really is. And, you know, scheduling for us has been tough because of just, you know, the daily activities that life requires. And I'm a father of two small children and a husband and, you know, and, and a family member to two sisters and a mother and a father. So there's always something going on and that's not an excuse. It's just, I, I find it so hard through this reflection and thinking right now as I'm, you know, just going to kind of pour out on the on the mic for just a little bit. I'm not going to sit here and just babble on. But, and you know, anybody that's been tuning in so far knows that I like to talk. <laughs> it's definitely a trait of mine that I inherited from my mother. And anybody that knows my mom knows that that is a dangerous trait to inherit because she's never met a stranger in her life. In her life. So... Yeah, I definitely um, can pour out and I love to pour out, but kind of like with the podcast and the refinement and the reflection, I want to be upfront with my audience right now and the people that do tune in and listen, which once again, thank you so much for your support and for your, you know, the ways that you guys support me, whether that be through just listening to the podcast, audio, video, YouTube, or you're watching along on the stories on Instagram, which if you're not following along on Instagram, that is where I, you know, kind of have my foundation set with all of this because I, I'm definitely in the realm of, I've always been a visual learner and that's why, you know, we've made the podcast you know today's just an audio episode it's a nice chill episode for you to just throw in to the to the earbuds and listen to you know while you do something or you you know working out whatever it is whenever you listen or have some free time to listen there's not going to be really going down any rabbit holes like this just kind of a day of reflection right now and i think it's important to do that because it, it's like good for me too to sit down and think about the, you know, the trials and the tribulations that have come with doing the podcast and this ministry and what I've decided to, you know, put on my plate each day, which um, was just kind of sudden because I've been at this for many, many years. Anybody that's like close in my circle, which that's just kind of how I've always been with this is um, it's been a thing that I just kept in my inner circle and when I would meet somebody new or I, the opportunity presented itself to talk about the things that I, you know, you know, let's just be real. You know, I'm a conspiracy theorist to the average person, but it's not even about the conspiracy. It's just the the grace that God has shown on my life and the things that he has shown me and shown many others. Cause you know, cause I'm not that smart a guy. I just kind of know how to piece things together. You know, I've got a good eye, at, you know, seeing the vision of what's going on in somebody's, you know, movie or their, their piece of art, you know, it's always been a skill that I've been able to, you know, really cling on to and, and notice and things, you know, I've had a sharp eye as they say. And, it's just been something that I was able to adapt to easily once the, you know, change in my life of me giving my life to Christ, you know, how it all happened. It, it kind of was already the foundation had already been built for many years, which is absolutely, you know, crazy to think about because parts of me feel like it, it has been all leading up to this point of me going live and me pour, pouring my, you know, heart out to the world, you know, because while, it may be one, two, three people listening. 
I, I measure that as successful because if one person wants to hear what you have to say and cares about, you know, your genuine feelings and thoughts on an issue or topic, they're genuinely, you know, invested in you as a human because we don't really have the time to listen to things that don't correlate or resonate with us, you know, at, at the core of what we believe. And at the end of the day, that's not my job is to force my belief on anybody. It's to let people choose what they want to believe, you know, kind of like God, because I see that from the very beginning of how God and his plan works and that we, we choose what we want to believe or what we put our faith and our trust in. And it's really important to remember that when, you know, you're putting yourself out there, it's, you know, we live in a world where, mass gratification is needed to feel successful. You know, if I don't have a thousand followers or if I don't have, you know, this many likes hit a post or this many views, then it was a complete failure. You know, this, this self gratification that's happening in our world right now really is unfortunate. And it's sad to see with the youth and even people in my age and, you know, even my people, my parents age, you know, it's, it's quite fascinating to grow up, you know, and, you know, have children of your own and see the struggles that that brings from your parents' perspective now. And, you know, just seeing what our, our parents' generation, you know, people that are my age, what they went through to, you know, get us to this point and what the world has come to, you know, and I don't think they were ready for the massive changes that have come so quickly. I mean, technology has just completely changed the way everything works. It's, a blessing and almost more of a curse while, while, you know, it is a blessing because like right now you're able to listen to me speak just in the little room of my house, somewhere in my little universe and world. But now my voice can be shared across so many different platforms and heard by so many different people in, in one day. So it really is an amazing thing that is happening right now on the earth with information and the ability to share information. But with that has become a curse in the sense of as the Bible, you know, predicted, there'd become a time where things would get harder and harder and the state of, you know, truth would would become a lie and and that lie would be pushed as something to be to to be loved you know and that's the lie of self gratification and self love and self worship that lie is nothing new it's just now it's overtaking what the taken what the you know truth was in people's hearts even a hundred years ago you know that god existed you know a lot more people trusted that there was a creator and that he did have the best intentions for humans if we would just follow him and we would trust his ways and we would listen to what he says through, you know, men and women who have been, you know, used by him throughout history and just even, you know, even the evil side of things. So that's kind of, you know, where the podcast and the channel and ministry is focused around is this light versus dark aspect. And this light versus dark aspect isn't like, to go all new agey, it, it just is the reality that God has created our reality, that there is a light aspect to everything that we see and a dark aspect. That's the, that's the literally gift of free will. And I think that Christians sometimes forget about that and that, yeah, it's good to preach Jesus all the time. It's good to, you know, share his word and, you know, do do the way we see church being done or ministry. You know, a lot of people, you know, they comment and they love the w- the way I do things and the way I break down things because it's a little bit different than your average, you know, Sunday church that you go to because they're solely focused on preaching the Bible and God's word. And yes, tying in world events and different things, you know, if you have a good, you know, teacher and a pastor, or a good church, they should be bringing in, you know, real life examples to help show that the Bible is still very much relevant and that the times the Bible was written in is different, but the the way of human nature and the way that we do and the way we think things is no different. Like there's nothing new under the sun, as King Solomon would say, that humans do. And King Solomon is quite interesting, and I don't want to get off that tangent, but, you know, when I started this journey of truth, you know, with air quotes, (laughs) I always do that because truth is 
at the end of the day, something that's a personal choice. It's not something that you can force your truth on somebody else. You know, Jesus said, I am the truth and the way. So see, so with my choice, I'm deciding that that is truth and that I'm going to trust that truth. Now that might not be somebody else's truth to trust. And I can't force them to believe that. Like that has to be something they want in their own heart and their own mind, because their truth may be that lie that is happening right now, which a lot of people are under, which is, I don't need God. I'm, I'm like God because I choose what happens every day. I do the things that I want to do. Nobody's going to tell me how to live. Nobody's going to tell me what to do because that's how it really is. And so God is trying to keep, keep us alive by not making poor decisions, AKA sin, because what is the wage of sin? It is death. So when people wonder why tragic things happen to even good people, it's because we sin. And sin has a punishment and God doesn't want us to, to die from that. I mean, he never intended it for that to be that for it to be this way. Death's not a fun subject, but death is always occurring around us. And it sometimes strikes closer than we like some uh, at times in our life, you know, when a family member or, you know, something, something and death, <laughs> you know, death is just a very hard thing to talk about even in this setting because you seem like wow why are you talking about something that just doesn't make people feel good well it's because it's a reality and sometimes the reality needs to be more at the forefront of our minds and the things that we're doing in our daily walk for god or on this earth to remember that life is very precious life is very very precious i have very you know i have many circumstances in my life right now that are going on where it truly makes me stop and think about how blessed I really am. No matter what I end up not being able to do or do for the Lord with this ministry, I know that in my own personal life right now that I am so blessed. I literally cannot, you know, I cannot thank God enough for what he has done in my life. So I, I just really am appreciative that I'm even able to speak to anybody that is willing to listen to my testimony about all this and to follow along with this community because that's ultimately what we are building as a community. I'm just super thankful for what this community is being built, you know, just over the last year and how, how it's grown. And, you know, my measurement of success for this isn't really how many subscribers and followers I get. Yeah, it's always a nice number to know that, you know, you're building this community behind you and, you know, people that want to follow you and listen to what you have to say. Yes, it feels good to have that number. But, you know, as you been, as you get into this space, you see that that is kind of just a number because some of those big accounts, you know, they have, they have things that, are paying for them to get subscribers and or there's a lot of bot accounts or accounts that are very inappropriate which i try to just delete instantly like i don't need a, a high follower count or a high number to to make me feel like this is being successful you know i want this to just be an encouragement to anybody that's trying to do something like this is because if you're able to just reach one person and they're able to take away something from what you had to say it and it was good and it was, you know, geared towards trying to show them the light and the truth of the Lord, you know, God will take that seed and he will make it grow into something. And so that's how you have to think is just be like a farmer and plant seeds every single day. And that's what I want to encourage my community to do is to do the good thing. And it's not about showing the conspiracy like I'm doing. So you, you see, like I'm trying to do this because it takes time to go through these rabbit holes in this quote matrix, you know, of different codes, symbolic, you know, representations and all these different, you know, parables in, and these different, you know, scenarios and these different things that have happened in history and these things that were lied about in history, you know, just, it, it takes so much to, tie it all together that it is really hard to try and do this right now because at the time when I woke up to all this stuff that I'm exposing with my co-host you know Taylor we kind of started at the same time that's why you know we're doing this together is because it's always kind of been a dream of ours to take all of this information from different various sources of people and things and articles and just you know taking it to God and praying about it and having him be the revealer, you know, not letting us, you know, think that we're smart and that we're figuring anything out, but no, letting the Holy spirit 
reveal these things because he is the one that reveals even to the prophets and the men of the old it was the holy spirit that would come upon them you know these are just sinful men as well too and so you, we just have to remember where the source of truth always comes from and that's why we can trust the bible is because if the holy spirit works in you and you understand what that means then you know that it, will, it was working through men of men of old and through the prophets because the things that they spoke are coming to pass and that's why the bible is also something that we can trust because it's a prophetic book from the very beginning like it's always fulfilling a prophecy like even in the very beginning when the prophecy of god saying that i will put enmity between thy seed and her seed like see that's a prophecy of like a future time and like a time that's going to happen on earth between this you know war of of satan versus god and satan is the catalyst for this free will you know existence that we are getting to experience right now and it just was part of the plan if you want to have free will and that's something that you know i want us to just keep stressing is that god is a god of love and god is a good god and he is a just god and a righteous god and he deserves all of the perfection that we can give him but unfortunately after that little fall which you know we knew he would know because he's linear like time doesn't exist the way that we understand time either so see trying to understand what god is and who he is exactly in his ultimate form is beyond our comprehension i mean we can barely understand how the brain fully works as humans right now with all the science and technology we have so let alone understand the one who created the brain so God is amazing. And once he fills you up and he gets into your life and into your heart and you let him mold you like a piece of clay and always just be ready to be humbled and be taken to a place where we can't be proud and arrogant about what we believe or what we think we know. Because at the end of the day, he asked us to come like children to the kingdom, be like children to enter into the kingdom of God. And what does that mean? Forget everything that you know in the sense of, yes, the only truth that we really need to stress right now in these times to our loved ones and to people right now, if we're in these spaces, is that Jesus is the Lord and that Jesus is God and he came in the flesh and that he died for us and that that truth came to pass through all of the Old Testaments and things that God predicted would happen to show us that Jesus was going to be trustworthy and that the bible would be trustworthy okay and so if that that's the one truth you can hold on to and you can promote right now that's the good work but you know that's the basic level of getting people into the kingdom you know that's why it's important to do that basic work and to just share the gospel is because it just takes belief and faith to get in but then you know we've got the the part of christians right now which is kind of where i'm more geared towards is more seasoned christians who have read the word or have been a part of certain denominations or things and they come to me and they ask me for information on what you know the things of the world show that help the bible bring more you know more to light you know so like the secret societies and stuff you know freemasonry everyone's like that's a conspiracy theory and it's like but they're real it's not that we're making them up you know maybe you don't believe what the history shows and the people that follow you know in freemasonry you know believe but the books are there and the information is there and people have been trying to you know show that this is not just about freemasonry it's that they they truly believe these people that are in control of our world right now, they truly believe that they are gods. They believe that they don't need God because they've already achieved the same level as Lucifer told the same lie that mankind is now thinking today that we shall be like God. And once you understand that lie that that's happening from the beginning of time to now, you can understand what the duty of a watchman is. And that's what this, episode is about is to get people geared towards what we need to do for christ as watchmen and what a watchman's job is and it's to look out and blow the trumpet when you see danger and if your spirit is reading the revelations and reading the bible and you know continuously testing the things of this world and what the bible is trying to show us and teach us you should be you should be trying to tell the gospel to as many people as you can 
and that's the truth so yeah i can sit here and dive down rabbit holes for an hour with my buddy and we love doing that and we're going to continue to do that because there is a place for it there are people that like me earlier you know i didn't come to the lord in a conventional way either i came to him by finding out about this stuff and so you know if you're listening that's why it's so geared towards that and we you know we we incorporate the Bible and the scriptures because to understand the scriptures on a deeper level and human nature on how the Bible speaks about humans and what we've been doing and the, the false idols that we worship and civilizations of worship. I mean, the Bible speaks very clearly about Baal, Tammuz, you know, Isis, Ishtar. There's all these different gods that people are always worshiping and God is just like, it, it just it drives them crazy. You know, just like if you're a parent and someone was going around saying, this is my this is my mom and dad. And you're like, no, I I had you. We plant, you know, it would be very disrespectful for your little kid to go around and, and be saying, look, at this is my mommy and daddy to people like, you know, you'd feel kind of awkward and it would feel weird. And you'd want to correct that mistake, you know, without being harsh. But it's just like, hello, I'm your parent. And so. It's just kind of crazy the the con concept of what God has given us in this life to understand how it works with us and him. You know, he's our father and he is the one that created us in his image and you know it, it even comes down to how we are made and the scientific proof and there's things that I you know want to do because there's so much to this that you know I have this feeling that I just need to really focus some time and energy into this one project that I've been feeling for a long time. And, you know, it's been a long journey to understand how to make this. And I still have a lot to learn and I still have a lot to pray about and let God do. But I really do believe that, that I can help people see this, you know, false light that is that is occurring on earth right now and that's what it is is a false light that looks good and it looks you know brilliant and bright but it's darkness like matthew 6 tells us the light of the body is the eye and if thy eye be single then thy whole body shall be full of light but if thy eye be full of darkness how great is that darkness OK, so we're obviously all walking around living. And if you're living, you have a light inside of you. But the light is the is the eye, the consciousness. What are you consciously following and choosing each day? That's my question to you is, is your mind and your heart solely focused on your career and this world and even your children? I love my children to death. I have young children. I'm a, I'm a young parent. That's also you know, something that's been very difficult to navigate through, you know, sleeping schedules and feeding and taking care of changing diapers. You know, I've got two under three right now. So pray for me. No, but I love it. And I feel so blessed to be a father right now because now I understand the responsibility of having literally somebody's life in my hands. And if God, you know, puts my life in his hands each day, then, you know, just like I want to raise my kids to respect me and respect others and respect, you know, just the ways of the world and what the world brings and to have knowledge of that, then we should try to do that for the Lord too. And for the people that we love is because if we have knowledge and we have light, then we can help people get out of darkness because there's a lot of people in darkness right now. I'm telling you, there's a lot of people that are searching for that little bit of hope because times are tough. And so that's what this is all about is creating a community that's watching out for each other. That's looking out for their best interests, for their family's interests, for their community's interests, for their, in for their relationship with the Lord, you know, we, we want nobody to be led astray. We want nobody to fall into, you know, lie and deception. But Jesus said that many will come in his name, but they are wolves in sheep's clothing. So as a watchman, your job is to test everything, literally test it to the core. Not just, oh, okay, they did this. Oh, they've got a, you know, when you're listening to a pastor, 
go look up to what Bible school he went to and then look at the symbology of that school and their foundational truth of why they're built and who founded them. You know, I'm talking when you look into something and you look at the roots, you got to follow it down to the root, not just, you know, go a little bit deep and say, that's good enough. No, you need to test everything because it's so important because if you test it to the core, it will be rooted in something that is either light or darkness. <laughs> and it may look like light to those that do not have the truth. And the truth is the Lord Christ. And so that's why once you have him, he can help guide you through these rabbit holes and these things of whatever it is you're looking into or doing, you know, or following. Everything can be exposed. That That's the truth. Because I've been at this so long now that you can just tell me to look into somebody and I'll find a connection. I'll find a family history because it's all connected. We're all connected. And God's plan is is on a scale that nobody can understand. But he wants us to understand it because he obviously gave us the revelation and the prophecies and the things to understand through his word. So... You know, I really do want to get into the Bible more and just reading that. But there's so many people doing that, you know, and everybody's got their pastor and everybody's got, you know, the 10 YouTube pastors that they're listening to and videos and stuff like so pe information is very, you know, broad right now with everything. And so you re really got to find your niche. And so this niche is for the people that want to continue to seek truth on a deeper level at the root of things and continue to understand that God's, you know, word is trying to really show us these roots through the understanding of words and, and what things mean in context of words and, you know, understanding things beyond the surface, you know, it's, it's, it's fun to look at the surface, but when you start deep diving, that's when you find the treasure, right? You, you don't become a, a, scuba diver to just swim at five feet you know you're trying to go deep so that you can find something maybe that's fallen and so as time continues to go on things fall into the past now should we forget the past no because the past means that we'll forget what's going to happen in the future all right and so that's what i'm i'm challenging my community to and people that are listening you know i'm i'm sorry that i'm not regular on my posting right now because like i said the children and my duties as a husband and father have you know outweighed the time that i have with still doing my own you know searching and and continuous testing and revealing from the lord you know he's working with me still every single day too you know because i pursue him every day so i got to give him my time too i feel like all of this is dedicated to him so that's why whatever happens with it and it's it's all on him and he will provide the strength with me but you know as i sit here and gonna wrap up you know i i appreciate people that tune in and just like to hear the banter between me and my buddy and like to hear you know the talking points that we bring up because we just kind of like to bring our minds, you know, to a place where we're still relevant and in today, because that's what we're at. We're not in these ancient times. We can't change the past. We can't change how things have played out to our day to day. So it's good to stay relevant and, but also talk about the relevancy of today and yesterday and the day before and a year before. So that's why I'm sitting here and I'm just reflecting that, this has been very challenging on me and my family and on, you know, just me mentally in the sense of like, I feel this responsibility now that, you know, I have people that are listening and following and it definitely weighs on you that you want to make sure you're guiding them, you know, the best that you can. And you're trying to be there for them when they ask questions or when they, you know, text you or DM you. Like it's, it's kind of crazy getting into this stuff. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So it's been an amazing journey and I'm really glad that God, you know, kind of kicked me into gear to start sharing this truth because I really have, you know, had some great, you know, experiences and things happen from him that only, you know, me and him know, because I'm not here to boast about what he's doing. I told you, I'm just a planter of seeds. So if seeds can be planted and he can grow them and turn them into something, then, you know, that's the best that I, I can claim. So that's all I'm doing is just spreading some seeds right now. But I'm also teaching people that, you know, 
things matter below the surface. Yes, Christ and our salvation and grace on the surface is the best thing to, you know, give people because that is truly the hope that we cling on to each and every single day. But it is important to follow, you know, the, the, the roots of things so that you can have a deeper understanding of what is to come because wisdom is a precious, precious gift. You know, everybody wants money and stuff, but, you know, the people that are making the money, they have wisdom. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say that the people in charge are dummies. You know, they've got angelic beings helping them, but, you know, we've got God. So don't ever forget that. So when you think that, you know, God can't do something in your life, remember, all things are possible with God. Greater is he in you than you that are in the world. So seek him first, and then all, all things shall be given unto thee, right? God is a God that wants to give. He knows that we are the way he built us. You know, he knows that we like reward, and the reward is eternal life. You know, we're all trying to do the things that we need to do each day to stay alive. You know, we drink enough water. We make sure to get enough calories and nutrients. So we're all striving to live each day and working to live the exercise, you know, but we all know that once again, not to end on a bad note, but that it's like vapor, you know, it can end suddenly. So don't, don't risk it today either. Don't say, Oh, I'm in the best shape of my life. Well, there's been a lot of people that are in the best shape of their life and they're no longer with us. And I don't want that to happen to people that are listening and maybe on the fence. Like, so if you're on the fence right now and you've been listening or tuning in and you're just like, I don't know if I want to do this Jesus thing. It's not about being religious. That's what, what, that's not what this podcast is about is sitting here and trying to tell you, if you do this, then you're going to be going to hell. You, you know, I'm, I'm not. That's not what the watchmen are here to do. You know, we're the we're, we're the grinders. We're on the wall. You know, we're the we're the first post at the tower. You know, looking out for the danger that's coming. You know, we're the we're the ones that are on the tower, and we we are blowing our trumpets to warn people that might just you know be in the dark right now, not because they're stupid or because they're you know willing. There are some people that are willingly you know choosing the darkness, but we have to just pray for those people. But right now. If, you know, you haven't accepted the Lord and you want to be a watchman, you know, that's the first key is to, to getting up on the wall and doing what, you know, I'm doing and what many others have been doing throughout time and history, just trying to share the truth and shine the light. You got to have the light. So, you know, ask you to come to the Lord and if you need to, you know, DM me or make a comment and ask how to get in touch. You're always free to do that. Everyone and anyone can contact me through the comments or through, you know, my Instagram watchman Inc. Seven, 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 three sevens, you know, uh, at, at Instagram. So if you're new and you haven't checked those out, those are my daily stories and the things that I'm doing. And that's really, like I said, where a lot of my attention is because, because I'm visual and because I like to show, the proof of the things that, you know, our eyes can see and not just tell you about it. And a lot of people, like I said, don't have the time to dig. So if I can show them what I already have, then, you know, maybe they'll make something click. And then it's not necessarily the pursuit of that information, but it's the show kind of like how I woke up. There's something going on here. There's something dark and sinister. And if that's going on, if Lucifer's real or Satan, you know, the snake, the dragon, he's got many different forms, the sun, God, if he's real, that means Jesus is real. And that means I know who wins this whole thing. So that's kind of how it was with me. I was like, this is an easy choice. If this is really the choices, I already know which team I'm, I'm a, I played sports my whole life. I'm a winner. You know, that's not to be proud, but I do not like losing. So if you choose Jesus, you are a winner and maybe not in the physical because we still, you know, have loss. But to gain something beyond even our understanding that is better than what we're experiencing right now. That sounds good. That sounds good. So I, I love you all. You know, I love you all and I appreciate you tuning in and I appreciate you following along and I appreciate you sharing. I appreciate whatever you've done. Pray for me, pray for my family, whatever, whatever you've done. If you've been tuning in over the past year, 
I just want to literally thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I want, you know, the Lord to bless you in whatever way you need blessed. And I hope that he bestows the wisdom that anybody and everybody is searching for right now, because once you have the truth, it's, it just feels good to, you know, have a peace in it. And that's all I'm here to do is, you know, what the watchmen are here to do is to offer you that joy and that peace, even through the knowledge of the darkness. And if we can pull people out of the dark, then I think that's our, that's our best hope right now is to help people see there is goodness coming and Jesus can give you a great life even in the midst of darkness. So with the next episodes, I, I do want to start getting them maybe a bit more structured. I know that the banter is nice and I know that us going back and forth to share information, our feelings and thoughts is great great radio but i do want this to be an informative informative podcast too and i do want to start gearing it towards you know maybe just really hammering home on some of these issues and these topics or these things that you know we've talked about and we make the connections with but i really want to like go deeper into them and help people understand so and that includes going deeper into the bible and the scriptures too so Yeah, as we just progress along this, you know, this journey, I know that I'll learn a lot more and I'll continue to do as God wants me to do with this. But I have some cool things in the mix that, you know, I will share once the time is, is, you know, ready. But I, I do have some things that, you know, I think the Lord has, you know, really blessed me with, with my, you know, willingness to put myself out here. So um yeah just stay stay tuned and like i said follow on instagram because that really is where you can be in touch with me and you know we can generate a relationship um because i am very active on it and i appreciate the prayers and the support that this community and this movement the watchman inc has brought me so that's what this episode is about is me reflecting and me just thanking every single person right now so this is to encourage you this is to tell you that i love you And this is to tell you that God is with you and God will always be with you and that soon our redemption will will draw near. So keep looking up, my friends and family. I love you all and have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.